I'm Karen at Summerbrook Golden Retrievers and I'm going to show you some of the things that we've been learning here and also hopefully I will give you some clues as to how to continue the training that we start uh, after you pick up a 10 week old puppy. The puppies that I'm going to be working with are Molly's puppies. There's three of them still with us. Several have left early because of the coronavirus. And, um, and I'm going to show you some of the things that you need to continue. First of all, uh, just to, to go over, these puppies are only nine weeks and three days, and so things are not as solid as they're going to be when you, get, when you come pick up your puppy. But at the same time, uh, when you get your puppy home, you need to backtrack a little bit because they've got to readjust to you, to your tone of voice, and also you need to kind of figure out how to read your puppy. So with all those things combined, you're going to have to backtrack a little bit. So hopefully this video that's done at nine weeks and three days will give you some clues as to how to continue the training. Um, before I bring out a puppy, I want to show you um, what the hand signals are for the things that we're doing because um, well, we're going to have the cameras on the puppy so you may not be able to see what I'm doing with my hands. But for a down, uh, we first off, as a lot of people do, we start off by pointing all the way to the ground, but by the time you get your puppy, uh, he or she is going to be well uh, on their way to know, or not just on their way, they're going to know how to go down with just a point. So, not even just a point, but a flap of the hand. You don't have to bend down, just flap your hand down. When you want your puppy to see it, you're going to bring your hand up like this, and uh, your puppy will know to come up from a, a down into a sit. If you want your puppy to stay, while they're in a sit, you're gonna do, you're just gonna keep your hand up and back up from the puppy. And that gives them a little bit of a reminder in these early days. Uh, after you back up just a little bit, once you're seeing that they're staying, you can go ahead and put your hand down. As far as the stay from a down position, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna do the flap down. You don't have to bend over. But when you say stay, you do need to bend over and just give them a reminder with your hand like this. Then you can back up from your puppy. If your puppy should pop up from a down into a sit, then you just need to, um, you can say the word no. We don't ever yell at them, but they do understand just no. And that just means you did it wrong and they quickly will go back down. If they're in a sit and you back up from them and they go to a down, they're just trying and they're confused. And so what you need to do is just keep your hand up and back up just a little bit. Don't back up totally until you see that they've gotten it, that they understand that you're not wanting them to go back to a down. This is Sasha. You ready, Sasha? Let's go. Good job, look at you. What a good girl, what a good girl. Come on, Sasha. Yeah. What a good girl you are. Good job. Good girl, Sasha. What a good girl you are. Yes. Very good job, Sasha. Good job. One of the things we're working on is changing paces, and Sasha's pretty good at that. And she's going to visit Jenna and the camera. Sasha, come here. There we go. That's my good girl. What a good girl you are, Sasha. That's a good girl. Yes. 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 Oops, now that was not a good yes. Repeat that because I don't want her jumping up ahead of me before I say yes. Yes, and that tends to happen if you start moving back on them too quickly. Yes, so you want to increase the distance and the time very, very gradually. Yes. Yes. Good girl, Sasha. Good girl. Good girl, Sasha. 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 Look at you. What a good girl you are. Come on, Sasha. Good job, yes. This is Molly. Good girl, Molly. That's a good girl. Come on. Yes. Good job, Molly. What a good girl you are. Good job. Good 
noticed on Molly's recall that I back up. Yes. And before you really start working with a puppy, you want to make sure that they're engaged with you. So when she was interested in Jenna, that I needed to wait until she got back on interest with interest with me. Yes. Good girl, Molly. That's a good girl. that I'm, we're working on is not popping up like he just did. Yes! To grab the treat. So I don't know if you could see in the video, but I was waving the food in front of him so to tempt him. And when he goes up, you just make him do it again. Yes! When your puppy messes up like you just did, the next time you do it, you need to do it with less expectations. Yes. So what I'm doing is, is I'm not going away quite as far. Yes, but I'm adding in more of the same temptations that made him mess up. So I'm waving my hands around a little bit. I'm gradually going to go back. Yes. Keep in mind when you're at home with your puppy, you don't need to be talking like I am. Um, they're still not. Yes, they're, they're not far along enough to really endure that kind of distraction yet. Yes, if you'll notice just a few minutes ago, I waited before I guessed him because, yes, his elbows were not on the ground. At this point, they know that a down means all the way down. good long stay yes with a lot of distraction me raping my hands around so you don't want to over overwork them or get them frustrated yes so I did my hand up you can eventually start adding the command sit sit I'm saying sit just because more for the purpose of the video right now they're more in tune to the hand signals themselves and he just dropped his treat out of his mouth so you want to make sure that you grab it before he gets it so that he doesn't learn that he can get treated by surfing around on the ground. Sit. Sit. Yes, now he has a distraction of that other puppy behind him and he was looking there, so you just need to, don't reward the down. Yes, because he was expected to sit and stay in a sit, not a down. 
Yes, and again, I said on the earlier part of the video, keep your hand up when you back up from him. Yes, and don't talk. <laughs> okay, good boy. Good boy, Yazi, you're a sweetheart. Yes, you are. You are a sweet, sweet boy. First start with any training exercise, you really need to reward them. Let's go. Yes. A lot in the beginning, and then gradually as your training session progresses, let's go. Yes. Make it more random. I don't want to continue random, uh, rewarding every two or three steps, but you want to make sure that you do occasionally reward after one. Yes. And there comes the UPS truck. Let's go. Look at you. Good boy. Good job. Good boy, Ozzy. What a good boy you are. Good job, Ozzy. Yes. Good job. Good boy, Ozzy. All right, and uh, I want to show you the recall to see if I can get his uh, attention off of me. Uh, because one thing that you need to do. Now, Ozzy is. Almost ready to. All right, let's see. Ozzy, come. So when I say Ozzy, come, I'm always going to have. Look at you! What a good boy you are! Yes, I'm always going to have some sort of treat with me. And when you start it, Ozzy, come. You need to. Now just not call him like I just did when his, his distraction. He was. His attention was on that UPS truck. Yes. When you get home, you need to not call him until his attention is on you anyway. Until he learns your voice. Ozzy, come. But there again, make sure that you're running back away from him. Don't run towards him. And in the beginning at your house, call him when he's about to come to you anyway until he gets used to your voice. This is Sam. You ready, Sam? Let's go. Good job. Good boy. That's a good boy. Yes. Good boy, Sam. That's a good boy. Let's go. Come on, Sam. Come on, buddy. What a good boy you are. Good job. Come on. That's a good boy. Come on, Sam. What a good boy you are. Look at you. Yes. Good job, Sam. Good boy. Let's go. Good boy. Good job. Yes. Good boy. Let's show you some sits and dances. All right. Whoopsie. Uh oh. Yes, good job, Sam. Yes. Good job, Sam. Good boy. Yes. Yes. Good job. Yes. Good boy, Sam. That's a good boy. Good job, Sam. That's a good boy. If you can hear there's an ambulance going by which is distracting him a little bit but that's okay yes he's still he's learning to work through the distractions which is part of it
don't know if you noticed, but he didn't go up to a sit right away the first time. So we're working a little bit more on the sit because they're still at this stage. Yes. Confusing the sits and the downs. And so whichever one they're having trouble with, yes, that's the one I'm going to spend more time working on. Because he needs to, yes, he needs to learn that the, the outstretched arm means stay. Yes. And he has a lot of the habit that a lot of them do, a whole lot of them. In fact, I'd say most of them start off, yes, when you back away from them in a sit, they go down into a down. And so you just need to work on that by going back into them until, yes, and keeping your arms straight out as a reminder of what he's supposed to be doing. Yes. So I'm going to work a few more of these up close to him. Yes. Until he gets the idea a little bit better. Yes. And whenever he goes down, I'm walking into him. And that's called spatial pressure, which is something that dogs just naturally, yes, they try to avoid. If I'm stepping into him, yes, he's going to get his feet, feet up. So I may need to do this a few times, and we'll work on this over the next couple of days. This will be our primary focus for the next day or two, is just getting him to, yes, to, uh, to learn the difference between a sit and a down. Yes, and I want to throw in a few downs because if you do too many sets, then they're not going to—they're going to lose their ability to do the down. Okay, so that time he popped right up whenever I gave the down signal. Yes. Yes. So we're just going to work going back and forth between sits and downs and stays, and work yes more on the sit stay than anything else because that's what he's struggling with. Yes. And you want to make sure you end your training session on a good note. So if he does a couple of these good, then that's going to be my cue. Yes, it's time to quit. And what puppies do who are trained with positive reinforcement is they honestly take what you've been teaching them in one training session and it's like they are mulling it over in their minds because they come back to you and it's like, wow, what happened to this puppy? And I really think they're thinking about their lesson in between times because Having a break does do wonders. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Good job. Good boy. Now again. Good job. Good boy. Good. Yes. They have never done this healing exercise, none of them, on this grassy area. Yes. We either work in our garage, which we have some training mats down. Let's go. Yes. There's a car going by or we work outside on the driveway. Let's go. But it's good to get them. Let's go. Good boy, look at you. Look at you, what a good boy you are. Yes. It's good to get them used to a lot of different surfaces like the grass. Let's go. Good boy, look at you, look at you. Yes. Good boy, Steve. Let's go. Good job, good, good job. What a good boy, good job, yes. Good boy, Steve. That was a good workout. Yes, good girl. Yes. Yes. And I dropped my treat. You gotta make sure you get those treats picked up. Yes. Again, I'm waving my hands around so that they don't get in the habit of jumping up and grabbing. Yes, I want them to understand the principle that until I say yes, the exercise isn't over. Yes, just because I'm walking back to them doesn't mean it's time for your reward. Yes, I taste them. She is such a sweet, loving girl. Uh, These puppies like Taysom who have a little bit more energy. Yes, you just need to be patient and wait things out because she is. Yes, you can see her little paws just to work and she's. Yes, working hard to stay still and you want to encourage that. Yes, and again, 
She doesn't understand the word sit yet. Yes, she's responding to my outstretched arm. Yes, and this is very typical of puppies this age, of wanting to go down when you back up from them. No. Yes. So if they're tending to go down too much, you don't want to frustrate them. Yes. You need to reward them up close and gradually start backing up from them again. Yes. When she's starting to go down, I'm moving back forward toward towards her, her as a reminder. Yes. And at this point, with her, my arm is stretched out the entire time. Yes, I'm away from her because she needs that little extra reminder. But she won't need it for long as long as you keep doing it. Yes. The key to good positive reinforcement training is not to push your puppy too far. Yes. You want to keep them enjoying the work. Yes. Good girl, Taysa. That was good work. Very good work. Good girl, Taysa. Good. Come on. Good girl, Taysa. Good. Good. Yes. I taste some, like a lot of the more active puppies. Yes. She really does better on some of the more active exercises. So I always work with the talents and the whatever propensity the dog has. And she's just, she's very excited to work and I don't want her to lose that excitement working. And like her grabbing the leash, that's just, just ignore it. It'll go away. Yes. And I want to move her around so that we can go sideways to the cam camera so you can see better. All right, and that's the jumping, just ignore it. Yes. And she's really, she's trying to engage. Can you see that her going down? Let's go. Yes. This puppy really, really loves to work. Um, and one of the things that you want to be careful of when you're doing, working with puppies that are more active, in fact, probably almost all puppies, let's go. You want to work on the leash work very slowly because they all tend to want to dart out in front of you. Let's go. Yes, and if you can get, the get them to have some self-control to go slow, then moving out at a normal speed is going to come fairly easily. Let's go. Turning into them is also a struggle and more challenging. Yes. Girl, Taysom. That was a good job. Yes, you were. You're the sweetest. Good girl. All right, Taysom. Oh, did we do a recall with her? Okay, let's see if I can get her off of me. And this is the thing about Taysom is she loves to work. Yes, and so I want to reward her when she's trying to engage me. Because if you don't, a puppy, any puppy, if you don't, yes. If you don't reward them when they're sitting, when they're trying to damn, when they're trying to please them, if you continually ignore it, then they're going to resort to jumping. Good job, Tessa. Good girl. Yes. Let's see. Jenna, see if you can call her to you. Taysom. Taysom. Come here, Pete. Come here, Taysom. You know what? I was just thinking of the fact with Taysom. Yes. We had kind of the same problem when we were doing pictures we couldn't get her to look at the camera because she is really a focused worker let's see yep, sit. all right now Gibbs this is Gibbs and he is a sweet sweet boy yes. one of the most loving of the puppies yes but kind of like Taysom he's more active yes. so we have to work give him lots of rewards yes and wait things out Yes. 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 Give 
Bibbs has really come a long way. You can see his little paws just the moving, but he has just in the last three or four or five days, he's, um, yes. And you can see he really tries hard the way he pops up into a sit. Yes. 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 Good job, Gibbs. okay if he's needing his feet back and forth. He'll outgrow this. Yes. But it just shows that yes, he is really working hard to control himself. All right, buddy. Yes, good job. That's a good boy. All right, let's get the little Are you ready, buddy? I just dropped a treat, and like I said, you need to make sure if you do drop treats to get them off the floor before the puppy finds them. Look at you, what a good boy! Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Gibbs. Good boy. Look at you, what a good boy you are. Good job. Yes. And the sun has just come out, and it's getting hot. They're not, it, the, the heat is just now coming. Let's go. Gibbs, what a good boy. There you go. That's a good boy, Gibbs. Good job. Come on. Gibbs, let's go. Let's go. That's a good boy, Gibbs. Good job. Yes. And we have worked so much with Gibbs on getting things under control and sitting without popping up that he's tended towards, let's go. Yes. Towards wanting to sit before you're finish moving. Uh, but again, that's a good thing. It shows that he's trying to down now. Let's go. Yes. And I always encourage, especially with these young puppies, any kind of effort needs to be rewarded, even if it's, uh, if it's not exactly right. Now, you don't want to reward it if it's totally wrong. All right, and he sees Jenna over there. Let's go. So Gibbs likes to sit when he's done, just because he thinks this is the right thing to do. So I'm going to reward him for that, because like I said, it's effort. It may, be not, it may not be exactly in the direction that I had planned on training him, but I like to work with puppies in terms of training them in the direction that they want to go. It's just easier to work with them than to work against them. Yes. So like Gibbs now, he is really wanting to work with me. So. If I ignored all this, yes, it would go away. And you don't want this to go away. You want your puppy to continue wanting to work with you. So when they're, yes, when they're sitting and doubting, and you don't have treats on you, at least pet them and praise them for that. Um, I want to show you a recall with, with Gibbs, if I can get him distracted. There we go. Gibbs, come! That's a good boy. And I don't know if you could see him, but... They are conditioned to where they hear their name and the come, and it's an automatic response to want to peel off to whatever, from whatever they're doing to come to you. And what you need to do to keep that going yes, is to reward it every time. Don't use the Gibbs come or whatever your puppy's name unless you've got treats in the early times. Uh, and you need to practice that Gibbs come when he's about to come to you anyway because your Gibbs come is not going to sound anything like mine. That's a good boy. Yes. Good boy, Gibbs. Good job. Good job. Yes, that's a good boy. All right, this is Nelson. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to start off my training with him with just a few things up close. Yes. Just to get the idea in his head that we're working. Yes. And Nelson is another one that he, he works with enthusiasm. Yes, but I'm going to wait until he figures it out on his own before I go repeating commands. 
Uh, yes, so he likes to throw himself into the sits and the downs, which I like. Yes. Yes. Now Gibbs is tending to go down into a down. You run a sit. Yes. So just like we were working with Steve, we're going to be working a lot. Yes. Over the next few days, I'm just backing up from a sit. I think I've already said before that right now I'm continuing to keep my hand out. Yes, I don't need to be talking. And again, you don't need to be talking when you're training your puppy at home, but I know I need to now. Yes. But I'm continuing to leave my hand outstretched. Yes. And then I'll gradually fade that away between 10 and 11 weeks. Yes. Or right now, they need this reminder of what they're doing. So if the puppy starts to go down from a sit, just step forward towards him a little bit. Yes. Waving food is always a good temptation at this stage because they need to learn yes, that the reward doesn't come until I say yes. Yes, me walking back to them does not excuse them So I don't want the puppies to be jumping up to grab the reward. Yes. Yes. And Gibbs is one of the more active puppies. Nelson. I mean Nelson. Yes. Sorry, buddy, you're not Gibbs. We did him last. And with some of the more active puppies, we do have to work longer on the down. You can see his little paws, yes, shuffling back and forth too. Yes, and what happens with the puppies when we have to work longer on the down, yes, by the time we move back to the sit, they have the mindset, surely you want me to down. Yes, so then we have to start working on mixing it up and, and doing the one, yes, Whichever one they're having the most trouble with, which in his case is the sit, we want to do that more than the down. Yes. Good boy, Nelson. I didn't mean to call you Gibbs. All right, Nelson. Let's go. Come on. Good boy. Yes. And again, especially in a new environment, like this grass is a new area for them. Let's go. Yes. You want to reward often in the beginning because you don't want the, to get them frustrated. You don't also don't want them yes, to learn that at work time it's okay to be good boy, good boy, to be exploring. They need to learn that when it's work time, it's work time and to want to work. Okay, and this is, I think I mentioned this about some of the other puppies. Yes. By nature, when you first start with them on this, yes, their instincts tell them tells them to move away from you when you're standing real close to them like this. And so a lot of them, you have to work with them on getting them to stay. Stay seated next to you. Good boy, Gibbs. I mean, Nelson, I know you're not Gibbs. No, you're not. You're a sweet Nelson. Yes, you are. Yes. So I'm starting in whatever direction he's in. Yes. Eventually, you want to teach your puppy to get in position himself, but they're not there yet. Let's go. Good boy. That's a good boy, Nelson. Look at you. What a good boy you are, man. Let's wake him. Good job, Nelson. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Yes. That a boy. Good job, Nelson. Good boy. Good boy, Nelson. All right, this is Bo. Yes. 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 Now, 
I just gave him the wrong signal, but fortunately he wasn't looking at me. The signal to stay is that. Yes. And again, waving food around. Yes, wanting them to learn that the exercise is not over until I say yes. Yes, I don't know if you noticed, but he started to go down. And yes, as soon as he looked at me, he saw my hand up, which was a reminder. A reminder that we're working on the sit right now and not the down. Yes, and I go back and forth between the sit and the down. Yes, so that they don't get stuck thinking that a stay is always gonna come in one position or the other. So I don't know if you noticed, but he popped up, and as soon as he did, I backed off from him again. Yes. Doing what a lot of them do, which is when I start walking forward, they think that's their cue that it's time to get the treat. So I want them to learn to wait. Yes, good boy, Bo. Good job. This way, come on. That's a good boy. Look at us walking on the grass. Walking on the grass, yes. Good job. So again, you want to reward them often, especially when you're in a new location, yes, or on a new surface like grass instead of pavement or should you go somewhere else. And again, yes, like I was saying, some of them, they don't like the spatial pressure of me sitting real close. And so you need to reward them just for sitting at this point. Now by the time they're 10, 10 and a half weeks, They'll be past this. Yes. So later I'll start teaching them how to get in position, but that's not something that we do with puppies this young. Let's go. Good boy. Good. Good job. Good job. Good boy. Look at this boy. Look at you. Look at you, Bo. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, one other thing. I'm not teaching them to sit automatically. Like I, I, my bow choked on the food a little bit. Uh, like I was showing you, see how he's moving away, so I'm just gonna move right into him again. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Good job. Good boy. Good, yes. So again, he moved away from me, and I'm gonna move right into him. Let's go. Yes. Now that was a little bit of bad training on my part, but I was already, my mind was in the let's go stage, but I didn't, he moved before I told him to go. And I want them to sit still. Let's go. Until I tell them otherwise. But, one more thing to, I can't emphasize enough. Yes. Is to, um, not be talking to a 10 week old puppy, especially, I mean, these are only nine weeks and, these are only nine weeks and two days. Let's see. Yes. Nine weeks, one day. Okay, barely nine weeks. So, you need to add distractions to your work, but not until things are more solid than they are right now. Yes. Good job. Good boy, Bo. This is a sweet boy.